Okay, um, this NFS shares were exported on the Galactica. Now I'm on the Pegasus. And on the Pegasus, I'm going to try to mount them. Before I can do that on the client side, I'll need to install um, the tools necessary to interpret and understand the NFS version 4 file system. So I'm going to use apt-get install. And what I'm looking for is this package, NFS common. Go ahead and install that. And once that is installed, um, you know, I can actually just mount it as I used the previous commands. We were mounting Windows shares and using Samba to mount, you know, both Windows and, and Ubuntu. So the dash T option, and this time I'm going to specify NFS uh, 4. And then I need, you know, to pass in a few options here. I can pass in a few options. So um, the protocol is going to be Transmission Control Protocol, or TCP. And the port is going to be 2049. Um, and I want to specify the syntax is a little bit different. So if this is the IP address of the server, 192.0.7.13.15, that's the IP of Galactica. Um, instead of using a forward slash like with Samba, I'm going to use a sim, uh, you know, a, a colon here. And then the name of the share I want to connect to is data one. Okay. And then, I, remember, I, I created a local folder here called Mount Me, so I'm going to mount it to that local folder, Mount Me. Okay, and then when I do that, you know, notice here, I can access files, and re remember that we made it, we mounted it read-write in the exports file, and we also set up 777 on the POSIX permissions. And so those are the effective permissions that I have. So I'm going to unmount it, and now I'm going to, this time I'm going to mount data 2. All right, so... Let me kind of pull this over so hopefully you guys can see. I was trying to make it larger. Let me blow this up a little bit. Zoom in. Yeah, there you go. That takes up the whole screen. Then again, I don't know. Maybe that's maybe that's going to be harder to see. Try like that. All right. So th this time I'm going to mount uh, data two to mount me. Now I exported that with read write as well. But remember the POSIX permissions were 755, so it's read and execute only not write for you know for the group and for others. So notice that even though I have exported read write at the share level, at the local file level, because I don't have write permission, I can't create folders and files there. So kind of notice how those permissions combine. Um, and I'm going to unmount mount me. And now I'm going to mount the third partition. And you know in this case uh, access was restricted on both counts. It was locally read-only, and it was also had the RO option in the exports file. Um, and you know, if I go here again, you know, I don't have permission to create files and folders. So just a brief look at the NFS file system and how you can set up those shares. Um, it works much like Samba does, and and much like networking does in Windows, in the sense that you combine local permissions with network permissions, and your effective permissions are the most restrictive combinations of the two.